I am Professor Dr. Alamut. Uh, tonight, I will very briefly discuss about persuasive communication. In simple words, I will talk about propaganda. Now, how we would define propaganda? The definition of propaganda is that it's a planned program to change attitude of public to achieve a certain goal. Propaganda can also be defined as a deliberate systematic attempt to shape perception, manipulate cognition to achieve desired goal. So, these are the main characteristics, plan program, deliberate, systematic attempt. Why? To change or to shape the perception, manipulate cognition to achieve the desired goal. It is a brief but comprehensive definition of propaganda. One type of propaganda is called as overt, O-V-E-R-T, overt propaganda. Purpose of overt propaganda is known. <coughs> Overt propaganda, purpose of propaganda is known. Interest of propagandist is known. This propaganda is called as overt propaganda. Opposite to the overt propaganda, covert propaganda is another term. C O V E R T covert propaganda. Propagandist is unknown. It is hidden. So in overt propaganda, propaganda is known, propagandist is well known, while in covert propaganda, the propagandist is unknown. The propagandist is hidden. Overt, covert, now. White propaganda. White propaganda is known, it is well known. Nobody says that I don't know, everybody will say that I know the purpose. It is not associated with old psychological operation. Grey propaganda. In grey propaganda, the source is not clear. And black propaganda. So, propaganda, a deliberate attempt to change, types of propaganda, overt propaganda, covert propaganda, white propaganda, grey propaganda, and black propaganda. In other words, I repeat, characteristics of propaganda. Only selective information. It may be negative or positive. War propaganda. Suggest for example, we are good. It's a war propaganda. When there is a war, the enemy says that we are good. And for enemies, they say they are evil. We are good, we are the best one, and they are evil. It is an example of war propaganda. In advertisement, in psychology of advertising, propaganda is used. Now, propaganda is propagated through various types of mass communication. 
medium as we know that TV talks qualified persons sometimes unqualified persons film actors film shows teachers they are invited to discuss certain program commercial songs are being communicated movies mass communication pamphlets posters newspapers internet that is television communication is time now as i refer that uh, propaganda institute of propaganda and analysis was established in the year 1937 propaganda technique was introduced by institute of propaganda analysis it was the name this institute was established in 1937 they used to some of the famous techniques for example transfer testimonials fox approval fear reward negative reward name calling belittling words belittling words means short name such as honor for example glory is a belittling technique they use positive connotation positive connotation now transfer testimonials bandwagon fear these are some variables used in propaganda remember that transfer testimonials bandwagon fear card stacking and brain washing propaganda is highly used at the time of war when there is conflict between two or more than two nations propaganda persuasive communication usually the purpose is to change one's values norms rules regulation to achieve their own goal hitler was expert in propaganda hitler was expert in propaganda and all advertisements nowadays are based on propaganda sometimes they are successful sometimes they are unsuccessful unfortunately in this century in propaganda women folk women models women folk women models are being used to change commercial values commercial product for example soap lux soap or any other soap or for example any other motor vehicle what to do with the women they are there aeroplane women model is there so sometime we aata hai hamare yahan ki tumhara paseena khush ho jayega lo tum ye lux sabun istemal karo there was a propaganda of a face soap i referred it in my radio talk TV talk about 20 years ago that a wrestler, a wrestler, Pahlwan, a wrestler was shot in the moon. The wrestler was wearing short underwear and he was taking bath in the moon. He was taking bath. A fat man, a dummy, <laughs> fat man, not dummy. But actually, with a very stomach, long stomach, fat man, he was taking bath in the moon and using a soap. It was a propaganda for soap. So such absurd type of propaganda. They all know that they are trying to change the attitude. Propaganda must be based upon ethical codes. 
upon ethical codes, upon ethics. Women are not necessary to be shown in the advertisement. About several years ago, not more than probably five years, London mayors, uh, London mayor, he, uh, his native city uh, was Jhelum in Pakistan. Jhelum. When he became mayor of London, what he did, all posters, all paintings fixed in the common passenger bus, local bus, local tramways. He removed all of a sudden. He warned that no, there will be no display of female models in the local street passenger bus. Now in Pakistan, the female models are being used without any reason. Without any reason. Attitude will be changed. It is not necessary that always female models should be there. So propaganda briefly means, remember, it's a deliberate attempt to change one's values, one's norms, one's attitude toward a product, toward a product, toward values. It can be religious values, political values, norms, factors, so on and so forth. So we should try to understand the purpose of his speeches, the purpose of their devotees. I referred about propaganda in my PhD thesis. The title of my PhD thesis was Effects of Most Favored Television Programs and Commercial Spot Messages on Children. Thank you very much. Have a good time. If you want to ask any question, please contact me with good intentions. Criticism for the sake of criticism is not approved. It's not approved. Have a good time. Good night. Shabakhair. Ali Ahmad. Five minutes. 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 Five minutes.